It feels so heavenly in here. God, I love it. I've like really recorded at home. Yeah, I've been traveling so much, which has been so amazing and I'm so grateful for, and I've never done that before, like really traveling as much as I have been, and it's been so soul giving, um, but I am exhausted and I'm ready to be home. Speaking of home, I have been doing like a lot of little updates here and there. I think just like in general, when I'm trying to build like a more sustainable home, um, it takes a long time which is just like with everything sustainability, it's just like a matter of intention and slowing down. I feel like it's about time to show you like a little home update. So let me give you like a brief overview of what's been happening. Also just to know, I'm not making this like a full blown like home tour vlog, but just kind of an overview of like where I'm at, what I'm processing and you know, whatever. Anyway, first up we have my studio. looking real freaking good. It's a studio slash wardrobe slash office, as you can see here. Um, sorry, it's looking a little crusty. I was literally just working here. But I got this second hand, which is fantastic. Sustainable baddie HQ in the making. We have my cutie little dresser. Let me just say, I have this orange chair, which I love. It's very nice and cozy and fun when people come over. But I also wanna put like a bookshelf somewhere in here. Cause I feel like I need one, like some kind of storage thing. This is coming together. Um, this is kind of a hot mess right now. I feel like before this looked like a storage room and now it's kind of looking more like a wardrobe. Um, and I'm not quite sure what should go up here. I'm thinking about getting like a plant and putting it there. I don't know. And next we have the bathroom, which I feel like hasn't changed that much more since you last seen it, but here it is. I think this might be new, I can't remember, but this bath mat is very cute. It's from Target LA, not Target LA, what am I talking about? And I added a little plant here. I don't know if this thing's very stable, so it kind of makes me nervous, but it's kind of nice having like this little pop of greenery in the shower area. But you know what room has really changed? The living room! Cutie! Oh, it's so... It's so freaking comfortable too. Matt was begging us to buy a new couch and I was personally fine with our old one but then as soon as we got this new one, never... I couldn't I could even imagine. I couldn't even imagine our old couch. It's so comfortable. Also here's Matt utilizing our new dining table. I mean, it's not new. We've had it for a hot minute and it's also not new because we got it from Facebook Marketplace. Also Matt's sitting on one of our other favorite things, corn stool. Matt, would you like to show the bite mark on it? Oh yeah. I'm hungry one day. <laughs> yeah, that's a Facebook Marketplace find, which is literally insane. I've been wanting one of those forever. Matt's been crushing it with all the finds for the house. Like this table. Look at this, literally off the street. Ooh, look, watch this. 
there's a second one. It's like a little nesting nook. And it wasn't even something that we knew we needed, but it sits so well with the rest of our house. Also, Matt found these. They're supposed to be ashtrays. Look how fun these are. Supposedly, yeah, well, there's the original box, so they're from the 60s from Japan. So they're actually like decades old. Which is so wild, they're so pretty. We don't really know what to do with them because we don't really smoke, but. I like, just think we could put little. Like incense maybe? Or little keys and little yeah, dainty yeah. things? Yeah, exactly, like just little catch-all. Catch-all. And look, very nice box for my trinkets. So another, another box for my trinkets, trinkets. what's going on? That's cute. Smile for the camera. So proud. <laughs> He found this Thomas McKnight print, which is so freaking cool. It's like, I feel like it's a pretty rare print to find. It's just like exactly a life that we dream of one day. This is more so a room I would really like to get your inside on. I think from last time I showed y'all, this wasn't here. So this has added so much. It was like super crusty and like nothing existed here. But I got this kitchenette that I would really love to DIY like a fun color. I'm thinking like similar to kind of like the electric blue that's there, I would like to make it like electric blue. But what's really nice is this cutie print that we got um, from like a local seller. So like if you look at it now, very cute, very hip, brings the whole, you know, it's bringing the kitchen vibes together. But I feel like we also were using it to cover up this crusty hole. It's like crusty nail spots, so. If you have some crusty spots on the wall that you can't really fix, just throw a print over it. I might go a little basic and try to get some stick and peel checkered tile type action here. And then also maybe like, sorry, the dishes are so crusty. Maybe get like some kind of contact paper to cover up this counter because I feel like it's not really my vibe and I wanna record on here. And also just the vibes, not it. And I think I also wanna do like a subway tile type thing. I'm very grateful for a washer and dryer, insanely, but this gap right here is so scary. It's also where we found most of the mice and roaches in the house, and that those issues are pretty much taken care of for the most part. Um, so I'd like to come up with something creative to kind of block that section, but like also like if there's something wrong, we could easily remove it. I don't know, like some plywood or something. I don't know, that could be gross with the water. I just need something creative. I, I feel like it's hard to find like some like sussy contact paper and stuff like that, but I figured if I could get it from Etsy from like an independent small business, that could be cute. Yeah, even just like right there, right? Um, maybe. Or wherever. Oh yeah, that looks sick. Well, like it's too thick. hot today that there was like no way I was gonna be able to walk further than the one store I ended up going to but I ended up finding exactly what I needed anyway which is just like a fun little frame um, for this DIY I want to do with this plastic baggie I actually ended up getting this bag because um, there's a local restaurant that he always goes to and he normally doesn't request to get a plastic bag but then he needed one that one day but I found it really cute. Like instead of throwing it away, like keeping it, plus the graphics are really cute. 
Um, I like everything it says here and also I like the vibes of like reduce, reuse, recycle. And I thought, you know, why not take that literally and turn it into art in the house? So that's what we're gonna do. I feel like I probably should have measured before I got the frame, but I just went off vibes, which I think is a problem I have. I tend to just go off vibes instead of measuring things and that's gotten me into a lot of trouble. Don't recommend, but I feel like this should work. Something I didn't really think through is that the backing of this is probably actually a little bit more difficult than I anticipated to get out. I think it's like an actual framed print. Um, how to properly unframe an art object or a photograph or a two-dimensional object safely in your own home. Now some of the reasons that you want to unframe an object, first and foremost, if it looks like it's being damaged inside the frame. So this could be something where the mat is burning it from an acidic mat. Uh, it could be too much light exposure. This is an example of an object that's starting to yellow because it just has too much light. It's been in that frame for more than 100 years and it's starting to... I just taped this whole thing down and I actually kind of think I want to paint the background because I kind of don't like how this isn't popping. It's not really popping. love that so much more already. Definitely a good decision. Look how cute it is! Whoa. We're pretty dang poop for the day. Um, I was gonna try to put things up tonight, but I think that's a little too ambitious of me, so I'll probably do it in the next couple of days or so. But very exciting, things are in the works. Ready for the reveal? Do, 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 do. There she Yay! is! It looks so good. Uh, I feel like it probably looks better in person. I don't really know. I feel like I still want to like uh, put some stuff here and maybe up there, but I feel like this looks really good. Yeah, maybe this will now be a new little recording spot for me. Actually, that's pretty entirely the point because ah, I miss. Uh, recording other than my dresser being like my background or my floor. <laughs> um, I hope you've enjoyed this little update and putting our house together. Together. Look at us. Together. Okay. I'll let y'all go. Bye. <laughs>